Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. Fred, I have a hosta that, okay. that's in a bad spot. It just it's it's in a spot where where other things have grown up. You can't even see it anymore. Okay. Uh, I wanted to dig it up and divide it. Um, how how many how many times can I divide that plant? Is what I wanted to know. Well, let's let's count the buds as eyes or just buds. If you look at hosta, perhaps right now, but within the next week or so, there will be little fat buds as big as your little finger point mm-hmm. or as big as your thumb, depending on the size and nature of the plant. Uh, when those are just breaking through the soil, I have had good luck digging the whole plant when you have a situation like yours, taking a, a hose, blasting out all of the foreign stuff that has grown around it. Then, with a sharp knife, I have divided it down to each big fat bud. I try to cut so that I get some root on the bottom of it. Yeah. And therefore, you can take a, a more mature plant into 15, 20 or more of, of divisions. Now, you also could just simply dig the plant, cut it in with a sharp spade or, or uh, what have you, cut it down through two different ways, make four plants out of it. You, you can be a little bit more careless with cutting the buds and roots if you're clumping them as such. So I don't know how to put a number on the answer, but... Um, <laughs> well, let me go to the next step. One of the guys in the Hosta Club one time was talking about how to get more buds so you could do more divisions. And he said, you wait until those buds are about an inch tall, put the ball of your foot right in the middle of the clump, and just crush it all. Yeah. <laughs> I, everybody almost gasped and thought he was teasing. He wasn't. He, he said, when you do that to a, a, a stable plant, he said, you, you cause it to send up more buds, so therefore more divisions. Uh, and he had even gone into what we'll call tissue culture, which you, you get a few cells of a given hosta, uh, and, and you can do all kinds of magic things unless the other guy has it patented. Yeah. Well, they are so hardy and they are so beautiful. I'd... They are indeed. The only thing you have to be careful of is they. some of them do not like hot sun. Uh, most yeah. of them are, are far best in a morning sun and some few, and I'm not going to try to name them, out of the 1,500 of them that are named or uh, even more maybe, uh, some of them will handle some sun quite well. But I found out in that regard, um, one of my groups of hosta were – uh, in the shady side of an Austrian pine that just up and died. Uh, the pine came down in the middle of summer after the plants we had full leaves on them were looking good. The sun just burned them to a crisp. The following year, they came out in the sun and managed to get along okay. So um, they're a little fussy in that regard, but uh, I, you can make as many divisions as, you, as your exacto knife will allow. <laughs> Hey, thanks again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well, the Plant of the Week podcast and the Plant Talk Radio podcast, all on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast, contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com. To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. Circle270media.com.